today in Canada. Spring is here. Woohoo! Uh, no, not quite. It's still January. January 30th, or is it the 31st today? Uh, but I took the cold frames off. Yeah, it's going to get cold again. Yeah, it'll probably snow again. I'll probably get ice. I'm debating whether I'll put the cover on or not. It's easy to do. But I have, uh, I think it's not going to be that cold. And the pond will cover itself with ice, a layer of ice if it's really cold. And that works the same as the cover. Because years ago, if you look at my old videos, from years ago early on, I never covered the ponds. And they iced over the bottom pond, had so much ice you could walk over it. But all the fish were always fine. But yeah, it's really warm today. We set records uh, in Canada all over Maple Creek, which isn't too far away, got I think up to 21 degrees. They were like the hot spot in Canada or something. But I cleaned the pump. Look at the white water rapid. Yes, I cleaned the pump out. So everything's flowing good. That ball was always spinning all year. I just keep it going. Uh, even under the ice it spins. Uh, there is a fish up here, but he's hard to find. But yeah, and this is coming. The shoots are longer now on the marsh marigold. And yeah, things will be coming to life with this. There's even a lily in a, for some reason there's, a, I don't know if that's a viable shoot from a coming, we'll see. But there's a pad. Not too bad shape for this time of the year, considering two weeks ago it was minus 42 below Fahrenheit. Yeah, so I cleaned the filters, got this extra little pump going too here, but I just have it laying on the water like that, uh, just because. Just to pick up extra fluff. Look, this is growing. How crazy is that? That shoot is a big tangled mess from there, and it'll, it'll make... Uh, leaves all over it in the spring yeah and the fish well they're down there the sun's moved away but i kind of stirred everything up i'm gonna do uh, a different top for this filter that net i'm gonna open it up because uh, it's like a bag and it'll be bigger sew an elastic in it and stretch it right over the top uh, like a big uh, thing you put over your head that's stretchy a hair net It'll be a net for here so fish don't get in underneath there. It's the only problem with this filter. It works really good. It's got big filter material. It's that big house, but it runs good all winter. This also looks faster because I, I've i got it a little higher sitting up. But it is probably flowing faster because I just uh, clean the filters and stuff. So yeah, they'll make a good amount of water circulation this always circulates all the way around this pond rarely gets uh, hardly any ice at all and the cover it just lays over it it's not bolted or screwed down there doesn't seem to be wind here we just hold it down with logs the plastic it's easy to erect literally i can erect this thing in 10 minutes it'll all be up again like between me and daryl and it's done. Everything would be covered. It's very quick. But I want the sun in my pond right now. I miss the sun. My pond misses the sun. Things are coming back to life. I want to make this marsh bigger out to here. Like I should have made it another square, another big uh, shallow marsh to grow all kinds of marsh plants so I could have a massive bog filter. But yeah, it's beautiful. I think uh, we're probably like plus 12, 14, something like that today. It feels really warm. And that's a quick look from today in Canada.